Hello guys, Mr. G here, and as promised, we're going to be doing an experiment to determine the acceleration due to gravity. Alright, so the aim of the experiment is obvious to determine the acceleration due to gravity and the apparatus. The main apparatus are going to be the ticket tape, the ticket timer, and a ruler. Obviously, there is another small apparatus like the mass piece or calculator or things like that. So, how are we going to do this experiment? The first of all, we're going to clamp the timer to the table to allow the tape to fall through the uh, steps of the time such that the ticket tape will be perpendicular to the floor. Thread a piece of ticket tape through the staples. Um, using marking tape attached to 100 gram mesh, it could be any, any uh, a mass. The mass here, it does not really matter, it's, we're not going to use that mesh for anything, it's just for the object to fall freely. Okay, hold the tape so that it vertically and will easily pass through the staples. Turn on the timer. Obviously, we have to turn on the timer. And let's go to the tape with the mass, allowing to drop to the floor. Turn off the timer. Take the tape and find the first clear dot, a, a dot nearest to the mass end of the tape. Now, note the following. You will have a ticket tape that look like a, this one here, more or less. And this is just a simple drawing. Later on, you will see the actual one. Here at the starting point, you will see many points together and something like that that start eventually coming along. All right, you are going to select the first dot that you can see clearly. And that dot will be dot number zero. And then you start counting like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I have nine dots. All right, starting from zero. This is important. I'll show you later the actual result. Use the frequency of the ticket timer to work out the period. Now, remember, period is equal to one divided by frequency. The ticket timer we are going to use have two different frequencies, 25 and 40. We are going to use the 40. So the period will be one divided by 40. And this is equal to 0, 025 seconds and this this is the time between two dots so using this time between two dots we have to calculate the time between the dot zero and the last one we have so the total time here will be equal to the number of dots starting from zero be careful we're looking for the intervals multiplied by the a period and that will be giving you but we're going to do it when we do the experiment to see how many dots we have use the data and equation of motion to calculate the acceleration due to gravity now what data are we going to use and what formula we are going to have let's write data here we're going to have the displacement we are going to know it we're going to write here later on we are going to know the time uh, we also want to know the time. The initial velocity is going to be zero because starting from rest. Okay, and we have the acceleration is question mark. That is what we are looking for. So according to this data, the formula we are going to use is displacement is equal to initial velocity multiplied by time plus half acceleration due to multiplied by time to the power two. This is the formula we are going to use while we get all the rhythm. So without more talking, we're going to start taking the rhythm and then we're going to start completing this table. Hello guys, today we're doing another experiment where we're gonna be finding acceleration due to gravity and we're gonna use a ticker timer, a ticker tape and batteries for the, for the ticker timer to work, a mass piece, a mass piece can be any mass piece, we're gonna be using conductive wires and a ruler okay so now uh, here is a ticket timer which has two different frequencies 25 hertz on top and 40 hertz on top we need the frequency to calculate the periods so now we're gonna choose the 40 hertz so now we're gonna check if the ticket time is working we're gonna take the black conductive wire into the negative side and the red one for the positive side. We're gonna check now if it's working. There. And it's working as we can see here. Okay, so now we're gonna put the ticket timer on this side. So, like this. And then we're gonna put the uh, ticket tape in the ticket timer. 
and then we're gonna paste the mask piece on the paper. Okay, so now I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna check that is in the 40 hertz that we selected to. And now I'm gonna put the ticket timer on, as you can hear, and then I'm gonna let the mask piece free fall. Okay, so now I'm gonna darken the points a little bit so it's clearly to see. Okay guys, so now after darkening the points, we have 15 points but 14 intervals. So now I'm gonna measure the distance between the first point and the last point. Okay, so now we managed to get 57.6 centimeters. Okay guys, so if we get now 14 interval, we have to come here to this formula we spoke before and then multiply 14 by the period which is 0, 0,025, okay? And we have that the time is 0, 0,35, 0, 0,35 seconds. So now this time is the total time, the total time that the um, ticker tape took. Or the total time the object took to drop from high of, of when we were released to the to the ground. That is the total time. So if we're coming back to this formula that we spoke about, we can see that the displacement was 57,7 centimeters. But you cannot work in centimeters, so it must be converted. And therefore, that one would be 0, 0,5. Let's make some space. This is equal to 0, 0,5. Seven, seven meters. The time was calculated is 0, 0,35 seconds and remember that the initial velocity was zero. So if we substitute in this formula, we have that is 0, 0,577 equal to zero multiplied by 0, 0,35 is equal is plus, sorry, here is plus half acceleration we are looking for multiplied by the 0, 0,35 square okay now when you do these calculations you get 0, 0,577 multiplied by 2 divided by 0, 0,35 square that would be the acceleration due to gravity and when we do the calculation we get that is 9,42 42 meters per second squared and that is the answer guys so that is the acceleration due to gravity that we got remember the experiment have certain errors when you do the experiment some measurement with the with the ruler some other issues some friction some stuff that have to do with the result of the experiment i have done this experiment previously and um, i got the previous time i got 9,7 and other times I get uh, similar numbers but the problem is not that it's not that difficult this is the experiment so I hope you understand and I hope it did help and you can see that the acceleration due to gravity is 9,8 however remember 9,8 is not an exact number it's an average given for the acceleration due to gravity because it does change according to the place to the area density to other factors okay but thank you for watching guys um, I'll see you next time. Subscribe for the channel, Mr. G here.